Hey everyone, another image sent in to us to edit. So this image right here, we're gonna be trying to recreate the exact edit the best we can. So you guys can go give her a follow down in the description. All the links will be down there for you guys. So looking at her feed, you can see there's quite a bit of a fade. And yeah, so quite flat, not a lot of contrast. And there's quite a bit of warmth with a few teals in there as well. So let's go about trying to recreate something like this. So here we have her edited image and let's get straight into trying to recreate it. So I am going to darken it a bit. Um, really bring down the highlights, really bring up the shadows. As you can see, we're already getting a bit flatter. And I'm also going to bring down the contrast and make it really flat. Not all the way because we still want a little pop in those brightest areas. Such as on it here. Blacks. We're going to add in some contrast for the darker areas and the curves. Maybe a little bit of clarity. It's quite hard to tell it. We'll do that after curves. So on to curves. I'm going to start with the red, green and blue channels. Just a simple S curve. So that's the red, green and blue channel done and that's the before and after of just those curves. So now we are going to add the flatness of the image in with this curve. So as you can see uh, the, the whites have been brought down and the, the uh, shadows are quite brought up. So keeping the curve pretty flat. And there's our curves done. So bring down the whites a bit, bringing up the blacks and then keeping it nice and flat. We don't want too much contrast in there. So coming down, because if you look at her face, if you look at the before, there's a lot of highlights there. And when you look in this image, they're, they're pretty much gone. So yeah that's done by bringing these highlights down and then keeping the fade in there because if we bring these up you can see some of those get added back in but we're keeping it nice and flat and we are going to move on to i want to put in oh no we'll come back up to clarity just a little bit Bring down that saturation and not looking too bad. Right, we are so her images are quite warm, so I'm going to add in some highlights. And quite often, you can figure this sort of stuff out by looking at the whites of the image. So if you look at her dress, there's white areas on it. And if you look over here, they've gone quite warm. So there is no color in there. So they didn't change the color to a warmth, but just added it on top of the image. So we're going to do that with split turning. Could have maybe done it with temperature, but you'll also get it in the shadows, obviously.
and now we really want this vintagey texture to the image there's a lot of grain coming all the way down so a good amount and then the size I'm thinking it's pretty big roughness is going to really give you that scrunched paper look I might just shift a red primary I might come back to these I'm going to do some HSL so uh, oranges move towards and really drop these yellows greens no greens in the image so looking at the sky now it's a bluey green quite teal so we'll shift our blues a little bit towards teal and then aqua I'm gonna shift and it also affects the dress as you can see changing it to those blues those aquas to the greens so that's quite important and saturation so these skin tone they're quite notice there's still quite a lot of highlights on the side of your face but over here there isn't so what's gonna happen I'd say is dropping the orange Luminance and as you can see those highlights are now gone or there's much less of them But when you do that obviously we've got a lot of saturation. So now bring down the saturation And end of the yellows And you're getting a much flatter looking image and then since we're looking so flat now it looks kind of weird we want some highlights on the face so we'll bring up the luminance of the yellows and they're just affecting the more outside of the highlights and skin tones Greens, not many going on. Uh, looking at these blues, so I think it's going to be the same maybe dropping a few luminance Before and after so far And then I'm just going to just drop purple and magentas Not many in, if any in this but just drop them in line with the others uh, luminance of the reds and sky
and we just want to darken and deepen the blues up the top there so luminance should do that And we're pretty darn close. And what I want to do is just add in some sharpening. Forgot to put quite a bit of that in there. I'm just going to drop the luminance a little to get some deeper yellows. And I'm going to do brighten the aquas. Uh, deepen the blues get rid of that tint tiny bit of whites maybe and increase saturation for these yellows And I'm just going to leave it there guys, so hopefully you guys learned something in this, here's the before and after, and yeah, comment down below who you guys want to see, uh, you can go give her a follow down there as well, give myself a follow, and I'll be catching you guys in the next one.